So welcome back to another episode of Pez History. Today we are taking a look at Pez 2016 once again in 2023. This game came out in 2015, which doesn't feel that long ago, but it actually is. And this game got reviews of 9.5 out of 10 from IGN, 4 out of 5 from Trusted Reviews, and 87% from Metacritic. So very favorable reviews here. IGN even goes and says that Pez 2016 might well be the best football game ever made. So it's going to be interesting to come back to this game today. And we'll see what it's like in 2023. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like for me. It always helps. And make sure you subscribe for more PES history and FIFA videos. This is the PES 2016 menu. And it does bring back the memories for me. We've got Champions League licensing in this game. Europa League licensing as well. There's your kickoff, Master League and My Club. Everything that you want in the main hub here. We've also got match tabs as well which is basically online and offline kickoff matches we've also got the UEFA licensing for the Champions League and Europa League in this game and the AFC Champions League as well and then we've also got the Copa Libertadores and Copa Sudamericana licensing this is basically FIFA now all these licenses here all FIFA now besides the AFC one we've also got the Euro 2016 license in this game as well football life is basically Master League become a legend in my club then you've got your extras like the training mode and some other stuff. We don't have many option files in this game, so a lot of the leagues will be unlicensed, especially the Premier League, but there are some clubs that are licensed in this game, like Barcelona. There is a few licensed stadiums as well. You can do Old Trafford, Allianz, but there's not much. Juventus stadiums in the game as well. There's really not much to play with though. Where we are right now is the training menu because free training was awesome in this game. They had a very good practice arena that you don't even get in FIFA 23. You could do your kickoff matches and you can um, do your free kicks as well. Let me just go to free kicks now. Basically what you want in a FIFA game. Unfortunately, EA still needs to wake up in this department. Not a bad goal here. You can even do your penalties, your corner kicks as well. You can't even train corners in FIFA. So it is what it is. EA, pay attention. We've got Pez 2016 with a better practice arena than FIFA 23. What is going on, EA? Come on. Let's take a look at the Euro 2016 next. I believe you had all the playable nations licensed in this DLC. But it wasn't a very good DLC where it had like all different kinds of modes like those EA games used to have back in the day. There was no qualifying modes or anything like that. It was basically tournament mode where you play the games and you try and win the tournament. So you played the group stage all the way to the knockouts. It is what it is. It did the job for the time. Here's a look at um, some of the player faces for Belgium and Italy as well. It wasn't very good because there was not many licensed stadiums as well. So that was a little bit of a downgrade for this DLC as well. When you put in a DLC, you would like to have all the licensed stadiums. I think this one is generic, so it doesn't help. It doesn't really look that good. Look at that. There's no Euro branding at all besides the ad boards. But here's a look at it. It does the job, I guess, but it wasn't too fantastic. Here is a look at the Master League menus. This was my PES 2016 Master League with Real Madrid. It was an absolutely stacked side, 99 team spirit. But take a look at this team. Look at this. We've got 83 Martial, Neymar 97, Ronaldo 87, Hazard 93, Sterling 93, Condogbia 85, Alaba 92, Congolo 86, Varane 90, and Danilo 84. And then we've also got Courtois in goals with the 88. On the bench, We've got Ramos, Marcelo, Rodriguez, Isco, Casemiro, Morata, and Phil Jones. Who signed Phil Jones? I don't understand why I did that. Carvajal, Lionheart, Ter Stegen. Talk about Money FC. This team is pretty much the best team in the world. Anyway, the Master League menus were pretty simple as well. You could do your transfer stuff through here. You could also do the team info, taking a look at your schedules, some results as well. Database as well. You could check your club ranking. We're number one, of course. Another thing I did like was the monthly stats in Master League. So let's take a look at that. We're going to go to the last month one. So you can see your results for the month. You can even look at your stats. You can see your average attacking time, your average pass distance, average defending time. I don't think we even get these stats in FIFA. Look at this. Look how comprehensive it is. And it's a monthly summary, basically. Look at this. Cross, chip through balls. You can see your success rate. Shooting, dribbling, passing, all the success rates there as well. Good stuff, man. I really like this. But it's time to actually play the game now. We're going to see the boys in action, this stacked Real Madrid team. We're going to be playing at the Metropole Arena, which is not good. There's no licensing here, but it is a Champions League game, and we've got the Champions League license, at least. I mean, it looks the part with the whole Champions League branding, and I can't wait to see what the actual game looks like. There's Ronaldo's player face, Courtois behind him. Ronaldo with the captain's armband. It's been a long time since he played for Real Madrid. All right, so let's pass it around. And I do notice that it's pretty responsive. It's got a decent pace to it. It's not too bad. I guess every football game is the same anyway. The fans don't look too pixelated from a distance. They don't look too bad. And on the ball, the dribbling feels pretty good. Let's see what, what Neymar can do. Still don't know how to dribble in Pez. There we go. Oh, my goodness. 
Oh, he gets hit in the head as well. But um, yeah, I mean, so far so good. The first few touches. And uh, yeah, I can see why IGN said it was one of the best football games ever made because it feels pretty smooth. Let's do a short pass here. Yeah, we are on superstar today, so it might not be too easy to score. When you've got a team full of team spirit, 99 team spirit, and players with these kinds of attributes, you can do quick passes, you can work your way around the field, dominate the teams. And Neymar picks it up, has a hit, and uh, good save by the keeper. I'm trying to see what's going to happen here. Nothing happens. They get away with it. Let's go again. Alaba whips it in. And Ronaldo's there, falls to someone. Neymar, oh, he can't get the shot off. There's a little bit of a foul maybe there. Ref doesn't care though. Ronaldo gets the ball off the guy. Ronaldo's going to line one up. Ronaldo, good save again. Work your way up the field. I love how you can do the one-touch passing. It's so fun. And Danilo whips it in. Ronaldo's there. Oh, come on, boys. They're just hanging on, Sparta Prague. They're just hanging on. Last chance before the half ends. Ball in. And just no one's going to win a header today, are they? Ronaldo has a hit. Another corner. Hazard's looking for Ronaldo. Ronaldo is going to go himself into the box. Whips it in with the left foot. And someone's there, but Martial gets blocked again. It's completely legal. Nice work by Congolo. That's why I've got him there. He's bringing it forward. This team is sitting back so badly. It's so bad. But they're getting away with it because of that superstar difficulty. Here's Sterling. I see a runner. Nice ball. And Hazard has a hit. Another save by the keeper. They keep hitting it straight at him. I don't know why. Looking for Neymar. He's onside. He's trying to do some silky skills here. Back to Neymar. Neymar's looking for a gap. He's going to have a hit again. Another save by this keeper. Spider-Man keepers in Pez. He whips it in. It's going to be one of those, man. It's going to be one of those. That's their only chance of the game so far. And it was not even a full chance. It was sort of like a half chance. Nice work. Quick passes up the field. That's what you love to see. And we've got a touch here by Martial, who's trying to go all the way. Ronaldo. Actually, no, that's Hazard. Here's Sterling. Chips it over the top. And look at this kind of passing. Not going to work today. They're just sitting back. Absorbing all the pressure. A draw for them is like a win today. Let's go up to Ronaldo. He's going to lay it off here. Looking for that one-two Martial. Oh, these slide tackles, man. Sterling brings it forward. He's charging through the whole line here. And let's see what we can do here. Hazard. Oh, my goodness. Where did these slide tackles come out of, man? These superstar difficulties are annoying. Here we go. Sterling bringing it forward. Neymar down the right. Going to chip it over the top to Martial. It's a good ball. And we're going to dink it across. Ronaldo, get it touched. What are you doing, mate? Oh, my goodness. I pressed the shoot button. And he was doing stupid touches. We go again. Neymar lays it off. The one-two. It's got to work now. Over the top to Ronaldo. Oh, my goodness. Way over the top. One or two chances left in this game. And they're sitting back. Ref, that was a, that was a touch at the back. Did you see that? That was a foul, man. Let's go. Last chance. Martial, over the top to Neymar with the finish. Oh, my goodness, this keeper again. Oh, it's going to be it. But anyway, that's PES 2016 in 2023. Still pretty fun. I do like the game speed. I like how the game plays. Superstar's not too bad. And let me know if you played this game at the time as well. Do you have any memories? Yeah, it looks like the game's over. That's it.